It's Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sleeve Chief is going to have the Dishonest Sleeves up on their website. And these are actually really cool. You get a side-by-side -side comparison here of the light and dark and just showcasing how these look. And honestly, um, these might actually be one of the coolest things I've seen. I'll leave a link down below. Remember, discount code MCO40 will save you on your purchase. Now let's pass on over to Market Watch, shall we? Make sure you guys smash the link crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome. We're digging into the freezing chain, aka the terminal world hype train that we saw from the early pictures of the booster pack here and uh what people are doing with this. You know, the Iceberry Structure Deck actually has had a resurgence. You know, had you bought these back in September, they were $9.45. Right now, a sealed structure deck is going to cost you $13.99. And people are like, oh, Ice Barriers are terrible. No, the, the new cards are actually just pure gas. Uh, and it's really starting to show here that people are starting to believe in this stuff. And especially, let's go look at the structure deck singles. You can still get, you know, what is this, eight structure decks for $69.95? That's actually not bad. Okay, the Trishula, the Ice Dragon Zero, it's still two, three bucks. <laughs> I love a pointers are 30 cents. Dupe Frogs coming in at 40s. Ah, your revealers are starting to head on up. All right, Bryonyx from the structure deck were 30 cents. This is amazing to me because everything in the structure deck is so low. Like, your presented value isn't anything too crazy. But, you know, things like Speaker, things like the Revealer, the Freezing Chains, you know, General Wayne here, all of these power cards and the Winds of the Ice Barrier too, these are all cards that are gonna help out the deck immensely. But once again, you're gonna need multiples of these, all right? Um, this might be a case of wanting to pick up singles versus the sealed structure decks themselves, but it's definitely hilarious to see where things are going right now with this. So that's a uh, look into the world of the Ice Barriers. Now with the cover that we saw yesterday, one of the speculated themes is uh, Flanville, based on how things are, are looking right now. And dual terminals are coming in about $8 for these. Flanville Magicians, uh, honestly, dual terminals coming in a little bit more expensive here than I uh, had originally thought that we would be expecting to see. Yeah, these are still 5 bucks for these. Very, very interesting to see that still. Uh, Flanville Urquazis, this, is, I, this has to be Edison format hype, but this is actually a $4 card. Flanville Dogs, well, these are a lot of mod players here. I see a lot of people, man, old format stuff. You gotta love to see it. Coming in at $3 here as well. Okay. Um, Flanville Guards, nice $4. Wow. Okay. Flanville Commando, no thanks. Love the structure deck onslaught. Flanville Counters, $1.23. Okay. Flanville Deity, over a dollar. Uh, even low rarity equations here, um, also kind of starting to head up to the dollar range. That's actually hilarious that we're seeing Flanville movements. Flanville Baby coming in at 50 cents. Commando, once again, 55 cents. A lot of this rest of this Flanville stuff is very, very interesting in terms of what we could expect in a placement. Interesting. And then we have Zephyr hype for what we expected on the other side here. You know, Oracle Zephyrs still are not very much at all. Like, I, I'm genuinely always impressed when we look at Oracle. You know, it's still $3 for first dead copies, effectively, which isn't too terrible when you start getting into the, the grind of things. Zephyraxes, 40 cents. I mean, look at this. Everything else for the Zephyr department is so cheap. Providence would have made an amazing Seeker Rare. I don't know why we never got it. Poor Zephyrath coming in at 15 cents, 16 cents down here for light plays. Oh, man. I miss Zephyrath so much. This deck was so cool. But the, the support is so low rarity. It's hilarious. And then, of course, um, we have Ritual Beast type as well. A lot of people are kind of looking at that going, you know, it could be it could be Ritual Beast. This was part of the original lore. Um, a lot of people kind of forgot that over time. Uh, but, I mean, you're not... A Galti guy at Pelios are still nine bucks. You're looking at threes here. Uh, Brotherhood. I love how when you search for Ritual Beast, it brings up all of this ritual stuff. Lara's are 35 cents. Elders are kind of floating on up to the 60 cent range. You know, the old... Uh, the old loops that you could do with this stuff so cheap, but your Ritual Beast stuff literally nothing uh, Ritual Kumo Falcos here from Extreme Force is probably the crazy thing you'd have to watch for more modern era, but okay, and then of course Cleefort, uh, boy you can tell so many people are, want Cleefort stuff, they picked up so many monoliths the monolith being a $10 light play card 
is still hilarious to me. But Monolith was always, you know, one of the coolest things. Cleefor had so much going for it in terms of its lore. Stealth also up to three dollars for the Mega Tens. Oof. Your dollar fifties for the new challengers. Helix is two dollars. Um, disc also wow, this Cleefort stuff really bumped up. New challengers uh scouts also two dollars. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot of movements back here in the Cleefort department. Wow, we a lot of speculation. Okay. And then of course Gen X. Imagine if we actually do get Gen X before. I've been watching Undyne like a Falcon. All right, like, I, I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for somebody for this to go up, and people are going to lose their minds. I don't know how, when, why, or how, but it would be very interesting to see some sort of uh, undying support actually make a splash out here. Birdman's still $5. Uh, Locomotion's still 5 bucks. <laughs> Axles, these are $7. These have never calmed down. Like, these are... These are still disgusting. Yeah, look at these. Seven bucks, and they just keep going up. Interesting. Um, the controllers, I mean, this was the heart and soul of the deck. Uh, thermal, yeah, good old thermal, two bucks. Duradarks also have value at three bucks. Uh, the Neutron's also kind of up there. Windmill, Triforce, yeah, this is, this stuff, actually, the Genic stuff is actually pretty crazy. So that's kind of where we're sitting right now with the speculation. Uh, also, Life Force Harmonizer. You know, we're down to 21 listings for this old ulti. Um, this is one of those cards that you're just like, huh? Hand trap? Uh, look, somebody spent $13 on one of these. Uh, you're on up to $9. This has to be old format application for sure. Yeah, Light Play First Eds for $12. For this old ulti. All right, when your opponent activates a card or effect that inflicts damage, you can discard this card to negate that effect. All right, negate the activation and destroy it. Yeah, that's that's really what we've come back to. Amazing. Trap does shoot super rares. You know, you, you don't definitely check this every single day. 390, 290, 310s, 323s were your last solds. Uh, this is all you have for super trap dust shoots on the market. Isn't this crazy to think about? Coming back to this years later, and you're like, yeah, this card that was worth maybe 40, 50 bucks has shot up this much. Thank you, old formats. And of course, Super Book of Moons have gone more terminal. Um, I actually came through here the other day looking, and you can get... There's, there, was a, there was a Light Play English near Mint, was, or excuse me, Light Play English was the last one I saw a couple days ago. I refresh and come back here, we're at $850. Congratulations. You have seen Super Books break the ceiling. That's disgusting. U Bells. I'm here for first editions. I was told that first edition U Bells are crazy. Um I see yeah, twelve bucks for these. Um you can get a nice little Korean. I don't know why this is on this listing, but you know. Okay, sure. Yeah, you're definitely starting to hit some barriers here for an old super for twelve bucks. Okay. Mere Swordmaster our sword knight you know um you might want to keep attention on some of this stuff because there could be a time where we're going to see these supers continue to shatter barriers you're already hitting on up to the two dollar range which is not a lot when in the grand scheme of things but it's a super rare all right which tells me the people are excited for this stuff a roman or a romage therapy jasmines look at that curve up 13 bucks and they're going on up to the 14 dollar range I hope if you didn't want this card, you you got it already. Gizmet Google, we saw the uh, the hype for this earlier in the week. Still six dollars for this, and we're still under eighty six listings from the Egyptian God Structure deck. That's hilarious. And then of course BLs, uh, we have some interesting little hype going on with this guy right now, pushing these up to the three to four dollar range. And we've got consistent sales here. Yeah, four dollars and going. Thank you, um, Jack Atlas, uh, having a level eight Dark Dragon. To actually be able to make combo with. Who guessed? And then uh, I want to point this out. The Rush Duel Blue Eye Structure Deck. This is for you collectors out there that really wanted the chance to uh, get these. Uh, $26.79 is the cost of the Structure Deck online. I, I mean, you could very easily just pick up a Blue Eyes Ultimate and a Blue Eyes White Dragon for $8.80 with $5 shipping. Or, you know, play sets of each. It depends on what you yourself want to collect. Um, it tends to be a lot of the case with a lot of these things. You know, people do want to be able to collect. I see a uh, nice little three bonuses here. You've got plenty of structure decks available and footing around out here on the secondary market, but it all just comes down to collectible and what you yourself want to have. Um, but 
for a fan favorite, you know what? I think that this is pretty cool that you can actually get this. Even though you're not a fan of Rush Tool, this still looks fantastic, man. Like, this is so cool. So what do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.